must be at least 15 years old. Easily. Easily fifteen years old. There's some. There's some really good ones. They're really, but like all your artwork, they're just so descriptive. You know. Is there any that stuck out in your mind? Well, they're all they're all different in their own way, aren't they? The ones they're all telling the same, like a similar type of story. Do you know what I mean? I lo- I've always loved your door artwork, to be honest. Right now, the question of the day. Yeah. Can you actually see the progress I've made with my art? Oh, 100%. You've got to remember that I actually have a few of your very, very early ones from back in the day. I've got your old, I think I've got about, I showed them to, I showed them to Rod when I first met Rod, about, I think I've got about nine original Michael Petersons. Fucking hell. One of them's, one of them's a great one when you, you did a little, you did a little cartoon of um, you running running with a cricket bat in your hand, chasing somebody, yeah. it's absolutely hilarious. But I have I've still got them, and I kept them from twenty years ago when we used to when we used to write back then. You know, wow, unbelievable, really. Yeah, the, the, and they then, are what, fucking. They go back to the eighties, then. Well, if you look at them, because you sent you sent me those, you sent you sent me a couple out for me, and then yeah. you sent a couple out to. Um, I think you must have sent them to Steve Richards uh, back oh, in the yeah. day, and then yeah, I've got, but I've got, I've got about eight or nine of them, and I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't part with them. I've kept them, well, I've kept them twenty odd years. I've got them in a file that I wouldn't put them anywhere on, like on display. I've just got them in a file. I can look at them, you know. They're really, they're, yeah. it's amazing to see the progress from that. That's what, what I'm saying. I, 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 I do see when I do art now. You just will. I can't even send you any art now. You know that, don't you? Aye, because they've took all your stuff off you for the moment, well, haven't they? That's what I meant to ask you. Now, you know where you live? Yeah. Now, you must know practically everything that's happening in your manor. More or less, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Is there any children's hospices around your vicinity? Yeah, there's. A, I mean, there's loads of stuff like that, yeah. I'm thinking, I would, right. you know, go on. What I want you to do yeah. is pop into one or two of them. Yeah. Take a bit of my art just to show them what I do. Yeah. And say to them, Charlie's not allowed to send his art to anyone nowadays, but he's allowed to send it to a uh, a charitable registered charity. Yeah. And if they send me an A4 self-addressed envelope with the charity number on and a letter inside for me... Yeah. I can send them a bit of art, they can then put it in a frame, auction it, and donate all the money to the hospice. Yeah, great idea. If great. you want to do that, and what we do together by doing that, build up a bit of respect. Yeah, I tell you what, there's so many, well, there's so many individual charities have suffered because of this whole lockdown and the COVID, you know. But it's got to be a registered charity. Yeah, so they've got to be registered. The, gov- the governor was at my door but last week. He said, I'm not going to stop you sending your art out. Yeah. He said, but it can only be for uh, registered charities. And if you've got proof of registered charities, I will let it go. Right, that's great. Okay, I'll do that. So have a little cup of tea wherever you're going with them. Explain the situation and what they can do. They could use maybe the local newspaper to get, you know, get people bidding for it. Yeah, and get the message out, yeah. Good get idea. Get the message out, because a decent piece of art, especially an A3 art, they're going for a bag of sand, you know. I know. I'll look on the um, I'll look on social media though, because there's some you see some of these big charities as well. Uh, yeah. uh, you know they make so much money usually, but now they're all really struggling. You know, there's one yeah. I do one healing tour to look after a lot of kids, and and I know they've suffered massively. Yeah. So I'll have well, you 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 go in one of them, have a cup of tea with them, have a chat with the, the top nurse or the top doctor. Just yeah. say, look, my mate is going to be prepared to send you a bit of art. Yeah. Once, once every couple of weeks, and I say free, and normally they go for a bag of sand. Yeah, no so problem. So every time he sends you one, all you've got to do is put it in the frame, highest bidder gets it. Yeah, I will do. No problem. Did he see the football? Let's do it then. Let's do it. Did he see the football results? Ever- Not yesterday. Ever- no, tonight. Everton and Everton and Aston Villa drew one one. So I've Aston Villa. I think they're down now. Uh, hey, what, did you get me message on? Uh, oh yeah, night? I was laughing. Yeah, I was laughing. <laughs> 
Jose, Jose Mourinho at his first time he's won at Newcastle in the Premier League that and he and he was Bobby Robson's protege and he walked out he did a little video as he walked out and he and he and he put it on his social media he went um I did it boss and he and he had a picture of the Bobby Robson statue it was a nice touch that he loves ah, New- fucking hell, that's good, isn't it? Uh, he loves Newcastle like he loves Newcastle Right now this is another question I want answering Yeah go on what is fucking going on? I, I'm seeing this quite often now on the telly, especially on uh, things like come dine with me and things like that. Now, why do geezers wear skin tight fucking trousers <laughs> with rips in their knees and no fucking socks on? Oh, uh, it's it's supposed to be fashion. It's certainly not me. I wouldn't do it's that. Fucking scruffy. Well, it is, yeah. Unfortunately, that's just the way we. That's the the world we're living. It's the same reason blokes are putting makeup on now and bloody dyeing their hair. It's it's. Uh, it's we're just living ridiculous. on a fucking strange planet. You'd be proud of me lockdown beard, like it's, it's getting like yours. Uh, the lads were calling the son of Charlie today. What were they doing? They were calling me son of Charlie today when you were on the phone because me beard, me beard, me beard's getting out of control. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you speak? Hey, what about our uh, mate going out for a board then? Oh, I know, I know. Is um, he going Tenerife? Yeah, he's going Tenerife. He's looking forward to it. Now, isn't that the place where a couple of years ago, when all the holiday makers was on the beach under the umbrellas and someone opened up with a machine gun? No, no, that was... Um, Oh god, that wasn't Tenerife. It was somewhere. Di- it was somewhere different. But it was that. Yeah, it was a couple of years ago. That's because somebody from up Wickham, which is about a mile away from where we live, they, they, it was a woman who was on the beach. She died. She was shot. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know her, but um, it was on the news. Yeah, she was from Wickham. She, she, she was on the beach and she died. But. Well, at Tenerife, I mean, it's, you know, Stephen's been out there so many times before in the past. I mean, he's holidayed there and he he went on his tours there years ago. But um, this is a great move for him. You know what I mean? Oh, and, it's fucking brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Hey, I'll tell you uh, what I was watching on the news tonight. That fucking bitch mm-hmm. that's bringing her back for a pool. She, oh, she, yes, I saw she went that. She out there to fucking join ISIS or something. Yeah, well, she's coming back to appeal, isn't she? They've allowed her back yeah, into the country to well, appeal. Fucking years ago, mate, she'd have been hung for treason. Yeah, you're right. Like I tell you, and I've just saying, well, she was she was only fifteen when she went. What's that got to fucking do with it? I know, I know. I've just um, yeah. I've just done a podcast with that prison officer, that Neil Samworth I was telling you about, who who worked oh, in yeah. strange ways and that. And he was asking after you anyway. He passed on his best. Was he? Where, where, did he say where he knew me from? Um. <laughs> God, he's done a few. It must have been strange. Ways. Strange ways, yeah. He did the block. Don't he? He looked after yeah, people in the block. There. I've been there quite a few times. Strange ways. He's... I'm going to tell you a funny story now. Yeah, go on. Right. Three weeks before the strange ways riot. Yeah. I was actually in their seg block. Right. And I was on a lay down, a twenty-eight day lay down. Yeah. And from there, I went to Parkhurst, and I moved three weeks before. The actual riot. Right. Now, while I was in Parker's seg block, yeah. there's an old screw down there called Tom Cotton. Right. And I've known him since the 70s. And every day he was on, he always used to, always used to put his newspaper under my door for me. Right. And I used to shout to him, Oi, you old git. I hope <laughs> you ain't done the crossword. <laughs> anyway, I'll never forget this. I was lying on my bed reading the paper and it was the sun. Yeah. And front page, Strange Ways Riot. Yeah. I missed it by three bloody weeks. God, you imagine if you'd been there for that? With oh, Alec- my God. Well, I'll tell you what. If I was there, you know that Paul Taylor that was up there? Yes. I'd have slung him off. You know what he is? A nonce. He's a fucking rapist, mate. A yeah. gang rapist. I heard now, that. He claims, he claims he didn't rape the bird. Well, I claim, why didn't you fucking stop it then? Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, I remember. How can you go on a bit of work yep. and watch three of your mates fucking rape a young girl? I know, I know Alan Lord quite well, and he told me the same. Like he said, like why did Alan Lord sling him off? I know. Well, he didn't find out until after they'd been on the roof. And well, he's, a back, he's, a, he's a 
bad nonce, you know. It was he's once. A bad fucking nonce. Was I what? put it on him in fucking Winston Green years ago. Did you? Yeah, I fucking put it right on him, mate. He's a fucking animal. He said, Charlie, I didn't rape her. I said, all right then, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt there, mate. I said, but you was there. You could have stopped it. Yeah. I said, you, in fact, you're worse than the others. I yeah. said, the others are animals, but you're a fucking coward. Yeah, I heard that from Alan Lake. Yeah, it's a fact of life, that, mate. Not nice at fact all. Of life. Not nice at all. So what are you watching I've tonight? I've never heard of him since. No, well, he did a documentary when uh, it was 25 years and Alan refused to do the programme with him. He said, I'm not going to... He yeah. says, I'll do the programme, but I won't be interviewed with him because they yeah. wanted them together. And he wouldn't do it, like, you know. If it wouldn't have been for what he's in for, I'd have hugged him, shook his hand and saluted the man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, exactly. You can't do that to a nonce, mate. No, you can't, mate. You can't. But I missed it by three weeks, Steve. Yeah, I mean, it's 30, it'll be nearly 30 years. It'll be 30 oh, years God shortly. Believe. How mad's that? It's... I'm 30. <laughs> Alan's, Alan's trying to get Alan's trying to get a film off the ground. Him and his wife have been trying for years. I, I put a little bit of money in to try and help them out, and I think they're going to get a TV series commission shortly. Like, so fingers crossed. But I told him I'm going to do an interview with him next week to try and give him a bit of publicity. So, well, if, if he can't get a film, surely he can get a TV play, can't he? Got to do something because it's a great story, and especially with all this Black Lives Matters thing, it, it's a, it's an inspirational story in a lot of ways. Yeah, I think so. Because not only that. See all these young lads coming into prison today? Yeah. They've got toilets in their cell. Yeah. Hot water and cold water. They've got kettles. They've got curtains. They've got bedspreads. They've got phones. Yeah. Hold up. Who was that? Who, who got all that? Exactly, eh? Exactly. Alan Lord, mate. Alan Lord, he changed the... Alan Lord, mate, we'd still be shitting in fucking piss pots. He still sleeps on the floor, you know, Charlie. Eh? Hey? Alan Lord still sleeps on the floor. Yeah, he never slept on a bed all, all through his sentence. It's amazing, isn't it? He still still yeah, sleeps. Fucking strong man, mate. Strong morals. Yeah. Lovely fella. He was only a boy when he got his life, you know. Yeah, he was unlucky as well when he was unlucky. Very unlucky. Hey, but what a lot of people don't know. Mm -hmm. You know what? The Strange Ways trial. Yeah. Did you know he escaped from the court? Yeah, because he did a little interview about that. He um he talks about it. Um, he, yeah, I watched the podcast. It it's amazing. Just him. It's loads of them escaped. Ah, amazing, amazing escape. It was amazing. And Manchester's a fucking max secure court. Yeah, that's right. They went through the fucking skyscape in the fucking ceiling. I think he got away twice. You know, I think he escaped oh, from. No, he did. Yeah. <laughs> Give him nah, he's a fucking legend, mate. I love the fella. What are you watching tonight then? Uh, nine o'clock. Uh, Anything on tonight? I don't know. I ain't seen the paper. It's uh, Thursday. It's Thursday. What we'll do film on film four. I tell you who we're talking about. Oh, there's good film on tomorrow night. What is it? On film four, The Business. Oh, that's a great film. Danny Dyer, isn't it? And Tama Hassan. You got him. You got him. Yeah. It's fucking funny, mate. Ah, it's a good film, that, like. Really, really good. It's on tomorrow night. I'm watching that. So it's Fish and Chips tomorrow. Yeah. Cars, yeah. Cosh, yeah, yeah. I'm coming off the yard. Yeah. All the canteens on the bed. Yeah. So it's canteen, fish and chips, cosh, yeah. I'll chill out and I'll about, I'll, it'll probably be on about half ten, quarter to eleven. I'm watching the business. Quality. Well, that's a good deer sorted, isn't it? He sends me cards now and again, you know, Tama. Does he? Yeah. Oh, he's doing all he right. He's out and get out, Sam. I want to drink with you. <laughs> <laughs> I think but, he's a Greek or something, isn't he? Yeah, the Greek Cypriot. I think he's. I think he's a distant relation to the Arifs, isn't he? Uh, I don't know about that. I think he was. But I'll tell you what. He's a fucking nice fella. Yeah, no, he's a cracking lad. A good actor as well. Good actor. He is, isn't he? Yeah, yeah he's like Craig. He don't, he don't get many parts, though, does he? No, I haven't seen him in a great deal of things, but I mean, you know, he's probably been a bit more sensible than some of these other actors and probably put his money into other things, do you know what I mean? And yeah, maybe uh, he, he, he was good in the football factory. Yeah, it's a tough business, Charlie, because there's so many people competing for the same for the same parts, you know what I mean? Oh, no, I know. Anyway, it's going to go off any minute. Take Enjoy. care, mate. Speak to you soon. Enjoy the rest of the day. And you, mate. Bye-bye. And tell them donuts, where, put a pair of fucking socks on. <laughs> I will do. <laughs>